2 and 1. This house supports the rise of social media activism. So to begin with, dear judge, what I would like to define for you is activism. Activism is an action that is driven towards achieving social, political and economic changes. So in this case of the resolution we are debating today, it is about this thing of activism happening on social media, that is trending on social media. So I would like to show you what is happening right now. Right now we are having a lot of activism that is happening on social media. We are seeing that, we want to show you what happened. In 1990, we are having 14% people using social media. Then in 2000, we are having 25%. Then current, we are having over 60% using social media. So what is happening, what is in the status quo right now, there is actually a rise in social media, social media activism. So the negators shouldn't come here and tell us they are against the rise of social media activism. Are they, are they able to reverse this and take it back? That if they are maintaining status quo, they should show us that it is actually not rising. Because right now, the status quo, it is actually rising. Social media, social media activism is rising. So the other thing we want to talk about is what we want to show you actually. The reason as to why we support something, it is because of its good impacts that it has done. We want to show you what has happened. Right now in Kenya we are having what has happened because the Kenyan, the Kenyans who have gone on who have gone on, on activism, but it was all supported by social media. It was social media activism. The, the, bill, the bill on high taxation was reversed. The president came out and apologized, which is a good thing. The cabinet was, was actually put on a suspension, which is also a good thing. So we are achieving economic change, we are achieving economic change, we are achieving political change, and we are also achieving social change. This is what we are talking about as social media activism. Look at, take a look at what happened when George Floyd was killed. It, uh, this activism took place on social media, then these people were actually uh, were able to ask for a change, and these people are actually, so look at what is happening in football right now. Because of social media, we are having these things go on on TV, no room for racism, no room for racism. So we are seeing that these people when they are going in for a football match, they actually, near, they actually bend a knee to show that they are, there is actually not going to be racism. And this is actually happening on social media. They are doing it so much on social media. So we are, we are actually emphasizing the regulations on social media. The team negative should not come here and tell us that these people are actually using uh, social media in a wrong way. The ones who are using uh, social media in a wrong way, they are not actually activists. They are abusers. Or they are not abusers. They are not activists. We are actually at, uh, looking at activists, people who come out for the right thing, the people who have done this in Kenya, the people who have done this in America, and the people who are doing this in football. They are the people we are looking at. Those are the act activists. So we want to tell, to tell you about the, what, is, uh, what is actually happening right now. The, the, with social media, these activists from uh, USA, the activists from Uganda, the activists from all around the country are able to connect with social media. So this social media is the, on the rise. It's able to connect the people who are have, actually having a mind to, to bring positive impact on the, uh, on the other people. So this is what we are looking out at, so the rise of social media activism. So we are coming here and telling you that actually one of our arguments, there, this social media activism actually actually helps in mobilization of support for a greater and positive impact of change. This is actually happening in the political change, it's actually happening in the, in the social change, and it's actually happening in the what? In the economic change. So the, what we are having now is social media activism. What we are emphasizing is this, that this, uh, this activism is taking place on social media. Because social media brings a lot of people together, so these people are actually going to be able to get the right information. Right now, social media is regulated by, it's regulated by UCCE. The UCC and what we are emphasizing it to have more regulation. YouTube is actually censoring immoral videos, so these videos are not going to be put out. It is going to censor out the right information, and actually, we are not regretting the rights. So these people, if they're telling us, if they come here and tell us that they're actually not regretting social media, what is happening in social media right now? It is rising, so they are not regretting actually the rise of social media activism. The rise of so, the, uh, social media, social media activism in those, those days was actually not the way it is, so it's rising. I beg to rest my case. My speech in two, three, one. This house supports the rise of social media. Now, members in the house, we acknowledge the fact that social media is bad, but what we are not supporting is its rise, members in the house. 
the team affirmative came and gave us about different things that actually the impact that it has brought. They talk about the Kenyan activism members in the house. Now members in the house, this activism actually People, people actually talk to the, gov the, uh, the government of Kenya. People actually uh, advocate for their rights of, in the issue of increase in taxes, members and all. But there are procedures followed in the country whereby actually the ministers are supposed to sit down and actually what? Discuss. But due to social, due to the rise of social media activism, these people were not able to weigh members and all. For the decision first come out, instead, they actually did not. Be patient. Actually, they were not patient to wait for the decision which will come. Instead, they just went ahead and started advocating for it. Where are people now? So, members, and people start rioting, remember, which led to the death of very many people. So, we just regret actually the rights that people actually take information that is not already right. The information that is not concerned. We believe that actually there are procedures in the country that are followed. But where else? where individuals take right in their hands and start explaining information that is not yet confirmed in the state members that led to actually the death of a thousand of people in Kenya members in the house. Now they talk of mobilization of sports. We acknowledge that actually in 2020, Simon Muchiga in uh, uh, and uh, a national in Kampala members in Dao was arrested because of actually what mobilizing resources to support people who are supporting LGBTQ, something that the country has not agreed members in the house. But what do we see in their case? They went just they went actually they went ahead and what started mobilizing resources members to support an act that is not agreed in the country, and that's why we say this were actually going against the country, whereby they go and change people, promoting things that are not actually allowed in the country. Therefore, we just regret the rights of whatever they are doing, members in the house. Now, members, they also talk about regulation, that these things are regulated, but we also told them that these things are being regulated, yes, but we also see the, the workability is not there. Why well, we see people actually posting fake information on social media. The president of Uganda in 2020 was posted dead members in the house, which was not good members in the house. In this case, we actually regret the rise of social media activism members in the house. Not accepted. Now, members, in tonight's in tonight resolution, we are going to show you why we do not support members in the house. We look at fuel intention, fuel intention in the country causing political instability members in the house. These are people who go ahead members in the house and fuel tensions in the communities members in the house, whereby the government is trying actually to address some issues, but then they go ahead glorif glorifying members in the house, exaggerating information that is not existing members in the house. At the end of the day, when the government is now almost approaching, people are already rioting members in the house. We do not celebrate with this case. Members. We would also look at Miss. Uh, information members in the house, whereby these members, members take actually information that are not yet confirmed in their hands, members in the house. Like take for example what is happening right now, we all know that the, after the speaker of Uganda is going on an investigation whether she, uh, she has estates in, in the UK or not, but the information is just going on that she already has estate members in the house, whereby we see the government is still under investigation, the right information is not being given, but we see these activists in the name of corruption going ahead members in the house and starting actually giving for this information. We believe that the government has channels to actually uh, do advocacy. But where we see members taking authorities in their hand and giving false information, this way we do not accept members in the house. We also look at how the, actually the minister in, Kent, in Karamaja was arrested because of embezzlement members in the house. Now, this way we see the effectivity of the government members in the house in actually uh, in actually, what? In actually, uh, putting things in place. But when we when we see uh, actually members in the country, activists, activists, members going ahead and give false information, it actually spoils the country's reputation for nothing. Members doubt, and most of these things actually are due to Western influence. Thank you. I start my speech in three, two. I start my speech in three, two, one. Dear panel in this house, I need you to understand one thing. 
Why do we support something and why we don't support something? And right now, as Team Affirmative, we're actually supporting the rise. Or would they come and acknowledge that social media activism is actually something good? That is the acknowledgement that takes place in their part of the world. That is what we hear from First Affirmative. Now, we think that if they support social media activism, why should they go against the rise of something that they acknowledge that is already good? Something that we see as has already failed in their part of the house. Now, we think, one, there's something we need to understand in this debate. We think that actually uh, they come and tell us about the issue of uh, uh, feeling intention mislead, uh, leading to actually political instability. But in our own definition, we tell you that activism or social media activism, these are intentions or these are actions that are driven towards achieving political, social and uh, economic change. These are positive changes, not what they bring in their own world, ladies and gentlemen. So when we think that these are positive changes, then we need to support the rise of what actually positive changes bring, ladies and gentlemen. Something they fail to understand in their, uh, 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 in their house. Now, they tell us about the issue of uh, how uh, Anita Mong is being investigated right now since, uh, uh, and they tell us that actually information has already spread it. But we think that Anita Mong was, uh, was identified because of social media. If it was not because of social media, she would not be under investigation right now. So we think that uh, uh, this uh, social media exposed her, ladies and gentlemen, and that's why investigation is taking place. And why do you think that actually she was exposed? The, the, it was, she was exposed, one, we need to actually attain political in, uh, political uh, reforms or economic reforms, something they fail to understand in their uh, part of the world. Now, we tell you that actually we're not regretting the rise because social media activism is something already that is intended to achieve a positive impact. That's why when, even if it rises, ladies and gentlemen, we are not actually against it at all. But in their part of the world, they acknowledge social media activism, but they do not uh, actually acknowledge the rise. So what do we get from uh, Tim, uh, the, from them again? They tell us about the issue of social media, uh, social media activism does not follow legal procedures. But we think that in a government like Uganda, our legal procedures are fair, ladies and gentlemen. This takes a lot of long processes that make people actually to die of poverty or of problems they're actually undergoing. Ladies and gentlemen, do you think that if flood happened, ladies and gentlemen, flood happened in Bududa, do you think people should first go to the LC1, to the LC2, to the, the government to get this? Think that actually this posting this on social media calls for uh, immediate action of the government to rescue these people. So we think that we do not, and that while, try to actually avoid or uh, uh, regret the rise of social media, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to pick you later. Secondly, they tell us about that information that actually spread on social media are not true. But we think that then that is not social media activism. We think that those are social media abuse, ladies and gentlemen, or which does not actually match in our definition. They even fail to define what social media activism look like in their own world. Now, we give you an example of a reason as to why we support this rise. One, right now in the world, ladies and gentlemen, there is no racism because of the death of George Floyd. This was exposed in social media, and activists actually came on social media, ladies and gentlemen, and tried to activate, uh, 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 advocate for the rights of black people. Right now, we think that even in the sport world, ladies and gentlemen, people respect the black people just because of social media activism, something they fail to understand in their part of the world, ladies and gentlemen. We tell you about the issue of Kampala Pothole Exhibition. This was something when the professor actually came on social media and mobilized people, the government was able to work on this road after one week, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you think it saved the life of people? So we are looking at the matter of urgency, ladies and gentlemen, in actually addressing issues that are actually Versing about the issue of legal procedures that may not work, ladies and gentlemen. We think that legal procedures that they bring in their own world that people should follow may not necessarily actually be true because we think one, uh, legal procedures take a lot of time that does not actually allow people to actually attain all this. Now, what do we get in our part of the world? One, we are actually mobilizing support. We think that social media activism, our activists are able to meet from all over the world, ladies and gentlemen, to connect actually to mobilize funds, ladies and gentlemen, to support people who are in crisis. Maybe let us try to say uh, there is poverty in Karamoja, ladies and gentlemen. We think that these people are able to actually acknowledge that the fact that they are going to collect money for this main purpose. I beg for that. Now, panel, in tonight's debate, you need to understand one thing. The team negative comes, the team of activists comes and tells us that, active, uh, that activism, activism or an, an, an activist is a person who comes to advocate for change, whether social or economically. And these are the people who always we ask team, ask team negative comes and tells us that these people actually want, they want change, and I've seen that they're actually not getting the changes too quick. That's when they go out late and start getting actually tensions, creating things that will make people exaggerate what is in the status quo. And that is why we are, we are actually trying to regret the rise of social media activists. We do acknowledge that social media is not something bad. It's not something bad. But now the rest actually leads to more uh, leads to more misinformation and exaggeration of these stats and that's the reason why Team Negative here comes to tell you that we are actually trying to uh, to actually uh, uh, regret 
do not support the rights of social media activists in members in the House of Lords. They come here and tell us clearly that uh, these people are the liars, that the people who are lying, social media activism, are actually, uh, uh, the social media activists that carry out social media activism are not the people who are giving wrong information. But you see, for somebody who wants to get something very fast and is eagerly, we we'll always use something else to fuel so that they feel they're actually having the, the greatest, uh, the greatest one, the greatest problem. And at the end of the day, we are trying to see the magnitude of where, in a, in a world whereby there is rights in social media, and then in a world whereby social media activism is actually minimal. Why can't we just, uh, why can't, uh, why can't we just try to solve what is already there, rather than actually exaggerating these things, because actually the rise of social media activism is causing more and more problems into the status quo members in the house that like. They come here and talking about uh, the change. Whereby we see the change they're trying to bring is causing more chaos into the country, leading to political instability. Yes, I take you. Uh, why do you support uh, something that they, they, why, do, why do you regret the rise of something that you acknowledge? Actually, we are not regretting the, 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 what, the, the, the social media activism, but we are regretting the rise of social media activism. We are, we are seeing at our, our recent we are by social, media, social media activism is existing, but then it's still giving us misinformation and then uh, leading to, to tension. But now we need to solve that, and the yeah, negative team of firm comes here and tells us that they want to actually lead to the rise, whereby we are seeing the magnitude of what is going to be in their world and the magnitude of what is in our world. And that is why we are actually trying to uh, not support the rise of this. And at the end of the day, we see they're coming to say that there, there's regulation, but this regulation they come and talk about. But it's actually not effective enough in tonight's debate members in the House and like This is whereby we see this is by the very people causing tension, political instability into the country. How can we again bring that and how the social media activism will work? They come here and say that the government take long to actually, I'll take you later. They come and say that the government take long to actually issue this problem. But you see the Uganda, a country like Ghana is a developing country, so it takes time for them to actually handle their issues. For instance, in the, when, uh, in the ashes, when uh, the, 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 the minister of Karamoja was arrested, we see that they follow the legal procedures, whereby we have the, uh, the LCs and all these things. We realize that Uganda is a democratic country whereby we have legal proce procedures and then we have to wait and be patient for something to happen. You cannot request for something right now and you, you, have it, you need to have it immediately. And that is one problem we are seeing the, shows in the rise of social media activism. It's being into the nice debate members in the House. Yes, I take it. As speaker, I've for the delay in bureaucracy in the government. Right? Now we do tell you that this is a developing country and then the budget is being passed at the, in the, at the beginning of the, every financial year. And that is why you have to wait until maybe something has been put in place to actually uh, solve the problem. They come here and talk about margins of agencies, but we see that there's of unprepared of, of, of what of disasters and unpreparedness. Remember, in in in, uh, in cases of uh, in cases of uh, in cases of agencies, the ministers actually they are in place to have come and solve the problem. But not the minister, by not by by but the rise of social media activists is coming to exaggerate this thing, bringing tensions into the people, making people to riot, bringing about political instability, and that is where we see the negative. Timothy is coming to fail in tonight's bed, members in the house of life. We do realize that in such a situation, whereby they say activism in Kenya, we, have, we saw what happened in Kenya. Why couldn't they wait? They knew the government was going to do that. The government knew that that was wrong. And then, and then they were trying to, to find some possible solution. And then, then what do we see? What do we realize? People are writing and causing more tension to the country, members in the house of life. And that is the reason why we are trying to regret members in the house of life. They come here and talk about the economic change and political change. What kind of change will you bring into the, into the country when you're trying to exaggerate things, bring tension, bring more political instability? Yeah, but we are seeing all these things. We not be actually achieved in the, in the way they are bringing it, and you see it being achieved more in the negative, whereby we actually follow, follow legal procedures in a country like Uganda, which is having a democratic, a democratic government, that we actually have to uh, follow legal procedures from the SCs up to, up to the highest person. Thank you. This house supports the rise of social media activism. Now, Pano, from Team Negative, Team Negative themselves come here and acknowledge the fact that social media activism is good. Then why don't they support the rise of social media activism? I know we told, they felt tell, they, they, they felt tell this to us, I know, we told, I know we told. Now we give them in status quo right now that the rise is actually happening. My first speaker came here and proved to you that in 1990, 14% of people were actually using social media. In 2025, and 25%. And now currently we are seeing 60% of people using social media. Now the rise of social media activism, people actually won't be able to collect this information come together, I know it all, information is going to be spread all over, uh, all over the country, so people are going to be knowing what's actually happening, I'm actually not seeing this. Now they come here and tell us that, uh, that, that what, 
they, they, they give us examples that is it the, the man who posted things about LGBTQ. But like the man was arrested because he posted something wrong about what something that was going against the government. Now that's why he was arrested, not because because of social media, the rise of social media activism. Now they come here and tell us that the, the minister of Karamoja was arrested. But like the minister of Karamoja was actually arrested because because of the rise of social media activism. People actually posted these things about the Karamoja incident. People knew about what was happening, which gave agency to the government to actually now get know what's actually happening in Karamoja so that they can actually be able to go there and realize what is happening. That's why the minister of Karamoja was actually arrested, not because of what they're talking about. They come here and tell us denied. They come here and tell us that like what like, like the people are going against the country. Like, like the man who posted about the president. But let's realize that this is actually an abuse of social media. Now, what our first speaker came here and told you was, we're actually looking at social media activism. Not so people are abusing social media. The man who posted things about the president being dead, this is someone who is actually abusing social media, not using it for the rightful purposes. People who are actually using social media activism are doing it for the rightful purposes to bring out the actual things that are, not, are going to be needed, not posting wrong information ahead of it all. Now, Pano, denied. Now, Pano. They, they come here and tell us that it is, it, it, it is, it is bringing out delay in what uh, all over the country. But I'd like to, to give them this, that with, because of social media, social media actually corrects the delay in all these things that actually happen in the government. We give you an example of, of Kenya itself. Kenya itself, was, uh, they, they imposed uh, something about taxes. But then the, the government was actually delaying to work on this. So it's important to use social media to post things that were actually happening so that they inform people that we actually having very, very negative impacts of these taxes. Now, because of social media activism, these taxes, are, these, actually, these, these, sanction, these, these things of taxation actually have stopped in Kenya. We have realized that actually they have stopped because of social media activism. Now, why can't we, rise, why, why can't we support the rights of social media activism? Because you are realizing that it's actually having positive impacts compared to what they are, these people are actually talking about. Now, Pano, this debate has actually been narrowed down to one major clash point, and that is rise. Team affirmative here fails to, sorry, Team negative here fails to, de, fails to prove to us why they are not, not, not going to support the rights of social media activism. But we as Team Affirmative come and tell that we are actually supporting the rise of social media activism because it's having a very positive impact. We still give you examples of Kenya, even the George Floyd incident. People, people put that out on social media and then they realize the need to fight racism in the world. People today are actually fighting racism. They give an example of the footballers. The footballers actually take a knee to, to show the need of actually, to, that we are actually united. Even people are actually posting it on TVs everywhere, even in video games that actually people are actually playing. It is lead to calling us to lead to, to fight right racism. This is why actually we should actually support the rise of social media activism. But then Team Negative first understand this. They still come and tell us that the people posting is it false information. But I would still like to tell them that these are actually abusers of social media. First, you're looking at social media activists. People are actually fighting for the right things needed on social media. No people are actually going to begin posting wrong information, anything like that. We tell them that we are going to support the regulation of all this. We realize like in Uganda, we have UCC, UCC, which is actually regulating all things happening on social media. Now, we are going to support this so that you can actually support the regulation of what's happening. We give you examples of YouTube. YouTube right now has regulations. You actually can't just begin posting anything, immoral things on YouTube. Now, this is the kind of regulation you're actually talking about. Which team negative first understand the veto? They still come and is it to talk about is it with that I beg to submit. Thank you. I'd like to, we have to make one thing clear for Team Affirmative to understand that in this case we are actually not regretting social media, but rather we are regretting and we are not supporting the rise in social media activism in the country. Now, the House at large, what we are driving at in tonight's debate is actually advocating for change in both sides, but where do we see uh, us achieving it at uh, best? Now, Pano, the clash of tonight's debate starts right from the definition of activists. Now, they are telling us that actually they claim uh, that the, the social media activism that they are talking about are these activists that are actually creating change. And they are telling us that actually the people who post false information are actually the, 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 the social media abusers. But we are still negative. We come here telling you clearly that it is actually the claim uh, that the, actually the social media activism activists that are actually under the activism are the ones who, who in the pretext of creating change in the country are the ones misinforming. Which means even in their own case, they have failed to understand, they have failed actually to point out who the activists and, the, and who the social media abusers are. Now, Pano House, they come here paint for us a world of them in the climate, in, in the rise of social media activism creating change in the country. But which kind of change do we realize in this case, and yet we are saying that actually due to the rights, they are actually misinforming the country and the citizens at large, they are actually coming to feel, like for example, yes? As speaker, how do you define, define activism? 
Now, Pano, we agree that activism is actually advocating for change, but we are regretting the rise, which is actually misleading people through misinformation and through female intention. Now, they can be telling us an example of actually uh, 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 social media activists helping in creating change in for, in, for example, Kenya that they gave us. Now, but in, it's still in that world, in that creating of, uh, of, of change in the, in the country, like when you go change the dimension. But we still see that even in their change that they are trying to get to the right, they actually feel intention in the country. Like, for example, what happened in Kenya? They actually brought in misinformation that actually led to the riot in the country that we, 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 we acknowledge that we lost a lot of people in Kenya due to the misinformation brought in by the rise of, of social media activism. Let us come here painting, painting for us a world that actually, in that case, they actually go to regulate. But what do we see? For the past years, they've been trying to regulate things in, the, in, 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 social, in social media, but you still see misinformation still going on, feeling of tension still going on, like still what happened in the Kenya, which means it still doesn't work in the case of internet resolution. Let us come here also actually paint for us a world of, it brings in political change, giving us example of Anita Mung that was exposed to social media. But when how's that? We have to make one thing clearly that Anita Mung was not actually exposed to social media. Actually, the social media activists got the information after it was brought formally from the USA members' house at large, which means actually it is not actually the climate activism that is actually in, uh, advocating for change, but rather the effectiveness of the government, which we believe it is a democratic government tonight's resolution panel house at large. They tell us that actually, in their world, they, they claim here that actually the legal process are not effective, but what do you realize? If the government itself is a democratic government and was able to punish uh, the, 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 the minister of Karamoja, that was not due to, if the government was, trying, was actually uh, able to punish, but they can be also claiming that actually each, uh, the, 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 the minister was actually exposed due to climate, I mean, due to social media activism. But you still acknowledge that actually the social media activism is even what the information from the government, which means government effectivity is more than uh, in more than the, the, the social media activism in that case of advocating for change, which still ways back to our case. Now, Pan has actually come here first as a case that actually social media activism actually uh, helps in a matter of urgency. But what do we see? Which kind of urgency are they solving? And yet they're escalating the matter in 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 in, in, in fueling the tension. We are actually not against the social media, but we're actually against the rights, which is about misinformation, which is about fueling tension, about exaggerating of things. But they come here telling us that actually, Chemo, uh, I mean, sorry, Musiga, Simon, that was not a uh, climate, a uh, uh, social, social activist, rather, but a uh, climate, uh, and sorry, sorry, uh, rather a social media abuser, not a social media activist. But we really know in the government, even in Uganda, how's that large? We know that Simon Musiga was actually not as a social media activist, but was actually trying to advocate for LGBT in, in the country, which is actually misleading the citizens and the person who's arrested. Which means in this case, the social media activism that we are against is, is about the misinformation and about the uh, fuel tensioning that we are actually advocating for, that is not actually good in our end game of advocating for change. So I beg to rest our case. Now, panel, in tonight's debate, this is where by Tina Farm just comes here and tells us that they actually support the rise of social media activism because they're seeing the effectiveness. Which they come and tell us that actually it's making the people of Uganda or people of other countries like Kenya get what they're wanting. But we here come and keep pointing to them that this is a democratic country, this is a country that is developing and needs time to solve problems. And then this social media activism, making it to rise, is actually making these things escalate and exaggerate all these problems, bringing tension, causing uh, political instability. And that is why we see in the Tima team, uh, Farm case, it's actually causing more tension than what it wants to solve members in the house at large. They come here and talk, uh, and talk about change. When you see a change they're trying to bring is actually causing more tension in their case, whereby we are not going to actually solve the problems that the people in the community are facing by actually trying to exaggerate and bring more attention, bringing misinformation, making it to rise, and that is what we are trying to actually uh, come against as a team negative do not support the rights of social media activists. Now they come here and talking about social media activists uh, that being different from people who mislead, from people who give actual wrong information. Whereby we, ask, we understand one thing. We need to tell them clearly that once they've seen that people, the government is trying to delay, since Uganda is actually a developing country, it will take time to solve certain issues. They will have the social media activists and the people who are carrying out this activism. So they have to make something to look very bad so that the, uh, the people in the community see that this is a bad thing. And then at the end of the day, they start rioting, causing more tension into the country. That is whereby we see that point of social media activists and being different from social media activists 
uh, social media business, do not work at all. Because this, the, these are the very people who actually want change. But then they want change by actually trying to exaggerate things to make sure that to, to, to look in their, in their world that they're the most affected. But we do need to understand one thing, that these countries are actually countries that are still developing. And they need time to actually develop. Now, they be, in our case, we come and tell you that actually these people are causing more tension. So we do, we do not support the rights because we do not want to exaggerate this problem, uh, like uh, misinformation leading to exaggeration and tension pol causing political instability, which is actually not serving. Once we cause political instability into the country, what kind of problem are we trying to solve in tonight's debate members in the house? But at the end of the day, we shall see that in the team of this case, we are trying to exaggerate things, and at the end of the day, once there's political instability, people will still complain, social media activism will still complain, and we still create more problems on top of problems. And that is why we see in the team of this case, they do not stand, but in team negative, once we do not support this, we actually solve the problem. Dear panel, we think that Team Negative has failed in this debate. One, they come and tell us all the disadvantages of social media activism. They go ahead and support social media activism. Or will we think that this is a contradiction that is in their world? Now, supporting all the disadvantages that they mentioned, they go ahead and tell us that they're not going to support the rights, ladies and gentlemen. Or will we think that this is actually a failure in their part of the world? Because if social media activism is bad, the way they have told us, ladies and gentlemen, they will not support social media activism. That's what, uh, uh, they will not actually support it, ladies and gentlemen. But they go ahead and support social media 